here a quick glance at a phenomenon with no vibration. Two liquids which spread by surface tension. No vibration is involved, but this phenomenon also progresses periodically, expressing the ubiquitous law of periodicity. Now we excite the surface on which the liquids are running. An entirely different picture is produced. It is even possible to make out a circular formation. Now there is vibration. But then the vibration slowly ceases and again we see a phenomenon without vibration. The regular pulsation of these spreading masses of fluid. The behavior of iron filings when subjected simultaneously to a magnetic field and addition shows that adhesion to the surface is substantially reduced. The magnetic lines of the force round the poles show up with exceptional clarity. If we cluster the magnetic lines together, we can see the effect on the patterns formed. If we thin out the lines of force, the phenomenon spreads out. Because of the reduced adhesion, the particles of iron have certain degrees of freedom. They can move, fall into line, form figures, and almost dance, but only in obedience to the vibration imposed. Even these serpent-like formations are produced simply and solely by vibration over areas of the vibrating membrane representing movement processes.
materials and substances and the various states of aggregation behave in characteristic ways under the effect of vibration. Or we can say that their behavior is specific. Here is a pulp. Here again, round shapes are formed and the circulation is set in motion, but in the opposite direction to that observed with lycopodium. There is a definite ripple effect caused by the wave trains in the vibrating membrane, a rich field of effects due to vibration. They join together, separate, and pulsate. If we intensify the vibration, equivalent to a crescendo for the ear, the masses are thrown into ever greater agitation. They are ejected, spikes are thrust up, there are eruptions, protuberances appear, and all due to the dynamics of vibration. The whole landscape opens before us. The note we hear is strong enough to originate all this turbulence, this impressive display. contrast is a sonorous figure, a static figure instead of a dynamic one, representing the opposite pole in the vast range of phenomena that make up the world of vibration. <laughs> 